bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Sign of Fimble Winter. <sighs> Better keep heading towards the wall. You could have led me around those. the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate. Hey, Bird! Where'd you go? Hold on! I'm coming! He's gotta find a way through. gonna say to Odin uh hi I came to be your apprentice I guess but it doesn't mean I like serve you now not in a force hold by prophecy <laughs>
Whew. Headed safe from the other side of that wall. Wait. How do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Rainther. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it. And I didn't think to ask. Hold on. I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Rob say? Elka! If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble... No way up from here. Better figure a way through that bramble. Alka. There we go. Wait, that sounds like people. Need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an ace your god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an ace your god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, All Father saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. Do you, you walk through walls? Not yet. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm 
Sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you staying? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. He's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, his last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Alka. Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah. That's what I thought you'd say. Alka! The light? Up here? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down.
I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and... Ah! Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Ah! Or not. Uh, want to just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Out the... I get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Book of more wish. Huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just 
Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimther's wall. So, what did Loki ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Then why are you out there, and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, all father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. no yes, I'm stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. 
How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people? Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultorper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa. Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not... the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant? Built the wall that keeps out the giants? Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace. Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? you a practice deck. I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do have treacherous intent. So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. <laughs> Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Odin. You'll be seeing him from your grave. 
What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh no, arrows! How fearsome! Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yotin? Do <laughs> Ratra! Even that didn't work. Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Like it or not, he's all father's guest. But I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, Father. Oh, my. It's your father. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All Father. Queen Gnaw. The Einherjar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Guess there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Einherjar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Form. Moon the Nafen, Tiana.
Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay away for me. Okay, but... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity. Or both of us. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. All oh, other. Sir. Uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Berlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and, of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, son. I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh. And help yourself to a change of clothes. Hmm. Huh. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Guess I could try this on. Has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Hmm, huh, nicely equipped. What needs work?
Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, Grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered- Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? Come on, you haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. I suggest you go about your business with the all -Fire. Sorry about her. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk.
Loki, walk with me, please. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. Or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smolder. Obsidione Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark, and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Baharm? The rest of the mask is here? It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Allfather thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what Loki in that shiny toothpick. Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Slow going, huh? You can maybe help. <laughs> Oh, 
Where are we supposed to head now? I'll check. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, what else are they going to do? Throw you? <laughs> the day's young. Yama! <laughs> Things up there hitting us with fire. Use your ball already. Yapa! You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. I don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. Right. And... We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Damwar, Bronair, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled. Every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. You know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Overall, but not aggressive enough in my opinion. You're more than welcome to step it up. This is me trusting you.
Okay, so where's the mask saying to go? Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? Somehow, I don't think the mask is telling us to go here. The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. Whenever you're ready. Thor, what the... Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. Trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you would do to do together. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not right. <laughs> An ogre! Don't worry. Not in the slightest. Don't bother. Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the Ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. 
Yeah. Ah! Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Oh God! Where are these things coming from? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. W what are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. 
think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspelheim. It feels like forever ago. Watch your father do it. Hey, what's taking so long? You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Throod would. She'd be faring better than you, at least. That at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Make that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice? Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him. Really, now. <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, 
I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. Isn't that a Greek instrument? I wonder if Tyr brought that back. Skull and Hati. Panda want one of these. Huh. Dragon skull in the library. No big deal. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh. Getting nosy. Getting personal. No. I get it. But it's nothing like that. It's... Well, to be honest... It's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. Huh. Is this old, or does he make them paint him young? Huh. Are you trying to make friends now? Well, I just aided the Elf Father. You said that makes us allies. Yes, as long as you had no treacherous... Interesting. You don't really know quite what you're doing here anymore. <sighs> Sometimes I envy the Elf Father. He always sees the best in people. While all I see is what people really are. Nobody ever says what they mean. Some lie to the world. Some lie to themselves and don't even know it. And then there is you. You don't know what you want. You don't even know who you are. But I hope you do know this. I will be watching. Hey, you're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? 
Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow, all father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm, nicely equipped. What needs work? Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. 
I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another, for your own sake.
Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neathhoek? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you.
Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Hmm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is red. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. Faye herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Sigrun. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their homes. Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? We left that way out here. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Somar. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others. I'm curious. <laughs> 
quiet. I just hope the norns are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's found something. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mimir, have you encountered these gnomes? Not personally. Freya's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. <laughs> Telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time. Another time. We must focus.
You were asking about my last visit to the Norns. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. That must be Tyr's helmet from his statue. Win mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. A raider in Canada. Shall we take care of them, brother? These were coal raiders. Infamous for Eating wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight in this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. <laughs> Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. Hold! What is that? The oarsman. A monument to conquer. Made some lovely warships, though. Go! 
I don't believe it, Lumir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. Looks <laughs> like there's a staircase on the other side.
There must be another way around. told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. staircase.
Take the boom! Switching arrows! <laughs> Artifact from the River Empire. Never been myself. I hear it's lovely. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner.
Lemire, what did those runes say? Secret. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Lemire. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. Saying. Tales of time travel always strain credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. But we will continue another time. Talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. Challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Look, 
There's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Defend the peace. I remember the Jotner crafting these bracers for Tyr's statue. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor them. The Giants were not wrong. I knew we'd left something behind. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. Souvenir from foreign lands. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor made for the help we found. I was afraid of that.
Thank you, the zealot. You're my king!
a feckless ball bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? They're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. <laughs> Looks to be a sculptor from the southern lands. from Tyr's statue. Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love <laughs> Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No. They are not.
Azed. The Aesir burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Not now. Another coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that.
But look, another coal raider camp. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. <laughs> Tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demo, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. Well, Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Hold. I hear something large. Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Brother, what is it? The wolves are distracted. Kratos, there's another encampment over there. Not for long. Your 
Kratos, their chieftain. the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort.
They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Girls. Good girls.
A nice knife. Shame it's rusted. Curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Lemire. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Well, you can say that again. This is the area. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Enemy behind you, Kratos! Watch your right! Know this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've been studying, and I can forge some new equipment for you. <laughs> Can't believe we missed this. Say one thing for Tyr, he's got taste. Mamir, look. Another Fjotalund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Seagram's King. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Another crane. Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves.
Sad to see Seagrin's homeland in such a terrible state. I you know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of the kingdom, you might not like everything you find. Oh, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. <laughs> From your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No.
That's frost in my neck, stop. Rot! Over there. Those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mimir. <clears throat> Look. The other half of the key. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrid and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrid and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Was that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake.
Freya, how did your brother come to be burned by the Aesir? Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Wait, that building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. You can brute force it.
With the shield in the way, it won't go any farther. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Well done. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. Together again, Mimir. Does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. Keeping family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both paths to that key, we should see if it matches that lock.
It's Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. What she did was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. When she shows me like my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. their heads. Freya, how did your brother come to be burned by the Aesir? Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests. Enough to feed their whole population. Enough. We will continue later. This is the place. Work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs>
Friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire from above! the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. something. It's stronger this time. Over here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. 
There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. know-it-all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver.
suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemir. Mm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Room magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look Yelka. at that thing! Make yourself an opening! Don't waste it! No. 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 Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the <clears throat> sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <clears throat> Oh, that looks official. Mother. My boy. I feel everything. I'll 
Caesar, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! What were you doing? No! I am so sick of your constant men! What you did to me! What you did to me! Something's waiting! It won't stop here, Tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie! You, you served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never escaped my death until you turned on! You are your children. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a friend of mine. A counselor for me. An ally to all wolves. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful men! You! Come on, watch out! There's four of us! Even now, you see a violent god in need and you can't help but hate him! Call him brother! And who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the thing! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take you! Atreus! Why don't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to go back! He's a murderer! That's all I have to do. And now he's mine. He killed my family! Atreus, I am here! the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right 
good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of, of fate. fate. There must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. 
pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. Hmm.